What's going on you guys? Frank Toronto here from Toronto Fitness and it's Sunday afternoon. I want to go ahead and show you guys a little something I do to roll my sleeves. So I know a lot of you guys are like, Serrano, I don't want to know how to roll my sleeves. I'm not even a Marine yet. Again, if you guys are going to go to boot camp, you guys are going to have some nasty sleeves. And I want to go ahead and show you guys how you can, you know, always look on point. Always be that one individual that does something differently other than the rest of the platoon. So, um, again, if you aren't in boot camp or if you're already a Marine, I'm going to show you what I do to roll my sleeves properly. So, check it out. Alright hey guys, so as you guys can see, I already have my, uh, my blouse here laid out. Everything, you know, nice. Nice and laid out as much as possible. And what you want to go ahead and do is if you don't have an iron, um, you could continue on doing so. Um, I, I just like using an iron because it gets that like really crisp feeling to it. Again, a lot of people um, like using starch as well, but I try not to starch it just because I feel like it fades the color very quickly. And here in the Marine Corps, that's an issue. All right, you guys, so as soon as you guys are doing that, go ahead and lay your blouse out like this. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the end, flip it over. I like to go about where my name tape start right here. As you guys can see that corner right there. This corner over here should be aligning to create this straight line from here to here, right? You wanna go ahead and follow through all the way out. So that's what I do. Now, I usually start laying it out a little bit more just to make sure I'm doing this properly and I'll start off with the right hand side well if I was wearing it the left hand side so you've already laid it out right like I said you want to go ahead and grab this end right here grab this end see this edge right there get those two edges together like so make sure the back buttons already buttoned you can lay it out flat and follow that crease. Alright, here we go. First fold. You can go fold it in as flat as you can, flush. Open up the lips right here. Make sure you're holding onto that. You bring everything onto the outside, nice and smooth like. Want to make sure it looks crisp. First fold. Then you continue on. As you continue on, make sure you're adjusting everything else. So here we go, second fold. Same thing, pinch. You roll over. You put your thumb in here, pinch on the inside. Just make sure you're clean. As you guys can see, looks all right, not too bad. You wanna make sure that's at least four fingers of, of a width, so I'll use my four fingers. And then after that, you want to size it. So you guys can see my whole arm's not going to fit in here. So in order for you to actually make your arm fit, if you have big arms, you know, got those gains going, pull out. You want to put two fingers in there, one right here, one right here. And you want to slowly, slowly pull out a little bit. <laughs> and then just adjust from there to your fitting. All right, guys, now we're going to continue on with the other side. Again, really fast. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that you align it. All right, button down. Align the edges right there. Make sure this is straight, flush. Make sure there's no wrinkles. Try to avoid that as much as possible as you go along as well. And here we go. First fold in. Open up the lips. Make sure that you're holding on to that edge right there. And... Fold. Fold. Again, this is going to be the foundation to how your sleeve is going to look like, you guys. So take your time with it. Right, so I went ahead and tried them on. Um, the left one feels pretty tight. As you guys can see, it looks nice and flush. So that's good. On the right one, though, you can see that you can put your finger in here. And I'm probably going to have to unroll that one and do it again. But, you know, for the most part, it looks pretty good. Triangles on both sides. Triangles on both sides, and that's to your preference again. It doesn't have to be triangles, it could be a square. Uh, that just means that this is going to be a little lower down here. I actually like having it you know, a little higher on, on me just because I'm not the tallest guy around. 
and because I like having that bicep peak right there. Um, right now I'm, just, I'm cutting so I'm not looking all that big right now, but you know, try to make the most out of it. And as far as the pockets go, I make sure to keep the pockets on the inside of the sleeves. Once they start coming out, you know that it's, it's time to re-roll them again. But they should stay like that throughout the whole week. But yeah, you guys, that's about it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, go ahead and click the like button. If you guys didn't, go ahead and click the dislike button. Comment below down why you guys didn't enjoy it. And subscribe if you guys haven't already. I'm gonna be making tons more videos for everyone, you know, regardless if you're a Marine already, if you're a Pooley, if you're, you know, still in training, whatever it be. Um, again, I'm going to be trying to make these every week. I'm going to be posting that on my banner. It's gonna be a every week type of thing as, you know, as frequently as possible because I, I'm still in the Marine Corps, you guys. I'm still doing my thing. I'm still learning about, you know, physical training, um, how to become a personal trainer as well. And it's just so many things going on, you guys. So again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you guys haven't, and I'll see you guys on the next one.